Hey guys, welcome to Boxing Squared for boxing news and views from around the internet. Joseph Parker has taken to social media with a very creative call out for Dillian White. As you can see here on screen, this is the post from his Instagram page. And on the right hand side, I've got part of it starting to run a little bit slowed down, but without the sound as well. So he's taken off the old take that classic want you back for good to call out White saying, I want you back for good Dillian White. If not, I'm moving on. So Joseph Parker, as we know, during the pandemic, he came up with lots of creative and really engaging videos that got people uh, talking about Parker. Um, and if anything, he raised his profile in a time where not a lot of people were fighting. This time it's in a position where his career is in the more ascendancy compared to White, where he wants that fight. Remembering these two fought almost six years ago. Yes, it's really that long. So it was, what, July 2018, Joseph Parker down in the second round. It was an accidental head clash that sent him down. Later in the fight, dropped legitimately. But as Dillian White tired, he also started to come on strong late. Joseph Parker, that is, and ultimately dropped White. What was it? In the final round, just wasn't enough. So... Parker has spoken about before those first few rounds after that head clash knockdown just fighting on instinct and it really did change the fight and Dillian White was able to take control so it kind of was what it was just a boxing accident you know these things happen but Joseph Parker has obviously been festering on that loss for years that followed a loss against Anthony Joshua so 2018 not a great year for Joseph Parker Parker's always spoken about wanting to get the get back for that loss for all his losses and now that he's got wins against Deontay Wilder and Zhang Jilei in the past year he's riding high and potentially, obviously, he wants White for a dance partner. He can see an opportunity to potentially face Dillian White in Saudi Arabia. And that's another question. Do the Saudis want to see Parker in with White? It's not a bad fight. Not at all. But I do think in this time, 2024, there certainly is one guy out of the two that I think would be the heavy favorite. And that's Parker. Because Dillian White, in the last couple of years, he certainly hasn't looked the best. A terrible display against Tyson Fury, starched in a few rounds, and he looked terrible in that fight. Zero balance. Didn't necessarily look great recently against Christian Hammer in his comeback fight. It was okay. Christian Hammer retired after, what was it, four rounds or so. Against Jermaine Franklin, yeah, so-so performance, but it's not like he really flattered or really outright performed to the point where you were like Dillian White is back that after his loss to Tyson Fury that there was a path to a title I think you know it's clear to see that Dillian White is shop worn now and is on the way down at least in my opinion I know some people really get up in their feelings when you say Dillian White is looking past prime but I think based on what we've seen we can only judge what we've seen recently and it hasn't been fantastic whereas Joseph Parker we've seen him put in really dedicated um, disciplined boxing displays against big punches he was down twice against Jung but box smart and Jung certainly faded in that one and Parker had a really good strategy uh, and was able to sort of stay away from most of the best of Jung's work when he was throwing ultimately racked up enough rounds to get a decision over Jung and against Deontay Wilder Wilder barely fired a shot because Parker's plan was executed perfectly so from a year or two ago when Parker was on a bit of a low ebb you know it swung around and that's funny in the heavyweight division because it can be like that he's now riding high and he's the one that's got some leverage and to potentially call out Dillian White here and I think for White this sort of fight would spell a big payday if it could be made if the Saudis want it but I guess the other, there's the other question remembering Dillian White failed a drug test in 2023 ahead of what would have been a rematch with Anthony Joshua if a fight was held in Saudi Arabia um, don't know what the situation would be uh, can he be on a British boxing board of control card it was a fight with Joshua which would have been in the UK 
and we really haven't heard from UCAD or the British Boxing Board of Control what their status around white is. So a bit unclear. I know some people have heard them say because the Texas Commission said that uh, it was an accidental sort of he took a supplement. He didn't. There was something in the supplement he wasn't aware of. Yada yada yada. That I've got no jurisdiction. But look, the fight was happening in the UK. British Boxing Board of Control and UCAD very much have an interest. And Dillian White, presumably a week or two before the fight, you know, was under their jurisdiction to some extent. They will be looking into this, and sometimes these uh, things take a year or two. So the fact we haven't heard much means they're probably still looking into it. But if there is an issue, maybe this fight can't happen. It's really hard to say, given there's so many promoters working with the Saudis and Parker's not tied necessarily to different ones at this point, um, what the leeway is to jump in and out of those cards. But you'd imagine that the Saudis, after a couple of big performances by Parker in recent years, would be wanting to have him on one of their upcoming cards. Can White be the opponent? If it happens, well, I think Dillian White all of a sudden gets a path back to relevancy uh, because remembering he's got no promoter. Dillian White... Uh, fight by fight contract basis um, with previous promoters he's been out in the wilderness with no promoter sort of um, you know saying anything about him in terms of trying to sort of talk about the failed test and trying to like Eddie Hearn and Conor Ben there's been nothing like that because White is his own um, man his own fight by fight deal basis and he's kind of been out in the cold this is instant you know instantly back to a form of relevancy for Dillian White if, even if it's the co-main event or third from the top of the bill, whatever the case would be, you know, it's a big night and a big fight for Dillian White. Perhaps one of the last big fight paydays that he could get in his career. And you never know. I mean, Joseph Parker, he's been dropped. He's been down uh, twice against Young, previously against Joyce. You know, I would have thought that um, Joe Joyce was a potential rematch that they could make because Frank Warren promotes Joe Joyce. So seemingly, I would have thought that was an easier fight to make. But a Dillian White fight, I think, is the easier of the two. Not saying that they're easy, but you know what I mean. There's degrees. I think Joyce is still a difficult style matchup for Joseph Parker if Joyce's chin is is holding up. If, if it's not completely cracked, then he's still a hard out. I think Dillian White has locked, looked far more shop-worn and far more beatable now. A slightly easier opponent than a Joyce. But what do you make of the call out? If you go to his Instagram, if you want to see the full call out or his other social media channels, drop a comment loud and often. Hit like, hit subscribe, follow me on Twitter, boxing underscore squared. I'm out.